week middle of the month i trust that everyone is feeling better today than yesterday you know what you're going to love today's audio because yesterday as i mentioned that we all have problems and then we must shift our focus to solutions despite the fact that our training and the people around us will tell uh, tell you the opposite i am so excited to actually work on this project because almost everyone around me is currently discussing or contemplating problems. The message is wedged in the crack, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Find yourself in the audio. Enjoy and chillax. Bye now. So excited to be here. I'm so excited. Thank you for calling on me. So you can feel where we're at, yes? You can feel that we are now in the place where you because you've been following along can ask a question and receive an answer yes without a lot of drama or explanation about why you're where you're at just here i am and this is what i'd like to know yeah i don't think i could have an hour ago right that's why we waited <laughs> but here you are so what is it it's actually uh, somewhat to do with something that came up earlier which is inspiration and motivation and action and uh, my question, I'm an artist and I apply for grants and residencies and things that are kind of competition based. And first of all, I'm not really certain where my resistance is. I, I don't have a lot of clarity right well, now. Well, we are. You just said the words. It's competition based. And so since it's competition based, it's like you see this pie that you're splitting up and you have a shortage consciousness because you don't believe there's enough pie. And you've got a deservability issue because you don't believe you deserve the part of the pie that you want. And so that's why it's not working for you. Okay. Um. <laughs> it's like... It's like buffet anxiety. So the solution to that is to realize that these grants and such are one way that things can flow to you, but that things are always working out for you. And there are a lot of other avenues. And when you focus solely upon one avenue that you've already decided is flawed and broken and competitive and not enough, then you're hindering yourself in a strong way. So you just got to step back from it and let that be a way, but not the only way and say to yourself, I'm leaving myself open for other possibilities. And I know that my inner being knows what they are. I don't know what they are and I don't need to know what they are. I just need to know that my inner being knows what they are and just hold myself in this loose, fresh place so that my inner being can give me an impulse that can help me lead myself to where they are there are so many people that have so much that they are wanting to play with you about the world is awash in money there are so many people that have more money than they have any sensible use for but they want to be specific and valuable in what they do with their money they don't want to waste it they don't want to fritter it they want it to be for something that matters and so there are all kinds of people who have money that are a perfect match to those like you who have a really viable valid reason that you're wanting to co-create with them and they don't need to go through some government agency or some other agency that's taking Taking their share of it and using all kinds of warped reasoning in order to decide who gets what the universe plays the game in a fair way so as you acknowledge that all that money is out there and you are ready to be a recipient of some of it and that there's plenty of it to go around there's no shortage consciousness and that it's just a matter of you following the treasure hunt by tapping into someone who knows where everything's buried then off you go that was really clear and you heard it yes yeah. um, but now you want to ask specifically well where and when and who and how no. and we say don't do that don't ask any questions that the answers aren't already right there for you just hold yourself in this place of what you want and why you want it and in this knowledge that the universe is abundant and will yield it to you and then report back in we'll all be eager to hear how it comes how part of it comes only a part of it only a part of it it's going to come from lots of different places can I still finish the question 
only because the inspiration motivation thing. And I, I don't know if, since a lot of these have actions that need to happen and deadlines and that kind of thing. Well, now you didn't hear anything we just said to you, did you? Okay. So is that what I'm getting tripped up? So what inspiration is, inspiration is being free of resistance for the moment and receiving an impulse that is so strong that you cannot deny it. Motivation is knowing what's wrong, knowing what's lacking and trying to move yourself into some sort of place where things can get better. So motivation sucketh. <laughs> we tried to clean it up with the F and inspiration always flowing. That's the difference. Motivation comes from your awareness of what isn't working. Inspiration comes from your realization that it's working and that you're eager to just let it show you the way that it works. Things are always working out for me and I enjoy watching how it comes about. Things are always working out for me and it's so much fun to be at the right place in the right time when it does. Things are always working out for me and I just love witnessing the way things click into place. Things are always working out for me and it's so much fun to be present, conscious and aware as they come. Things are always working out for me. Sometimes there on a faster track and sometimes it's on a slower track and doesn't matter things are always working out for me I get to enjoy it however it is yeah okay all right thank you there is no exclusion in this universe of attraction there's no pushing anything away there's only attraction 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 inclusion 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 so when a problem comes into your view and you want to push it away since there is no such thing as pushing away since there's only inclusion doesn't it sort of kind of make you want to go to the other end of the stick that you want to include rather than stay on the problem into the stick that you don't want to include Did you hear that humans must believe that there is law of pushing away that there's law of exclusion because they'll stay fixated on the problem we're going to get rid of this we're going to get rid of this everybody's talking about this we're doing blogs about this the news is talking about this everybody's talking about this we're talking about this and we're going to talk about this till it goes away no you're not you're going to talk about this until you create solutions that you don't have access to so if it's only law of attraction and it is when you see something you want and you give your attention to it you include it in your experience when you see something you don't want and you shout no at it you include it in your experience so when you are focused on a problem do you want to focus on the problem because there's only inclusion you say yeah I'll focus on the problem and I'll get rid of it no that's not an option you can't get rid of it you can only include it so if you can only include it do you want to focus on the problem yeah because I want to get rid of it no no there's no getting rid of it there's only inclusion so do you want to focus on the problem yeah because I really want to get rid of it no there's no getting rid of it there's a problem and there's a solution and it's only inclusion so there's a problem do you want to focus on the problem no I want to try to focus on the solution and include that in my vibration do you hear it that's the best conversation about law of attraction that has ever been ever yeah 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 really good <laughs> that got right to it didn't it do you know that you are known do you know that you are loved do you know that you are seen do you know that you are in our awareness do you know that we know where you are do you know that we know what you are vibrationally do you know we know how you're coming along in terms of allowing your vibrational being to be the dominant part of you do you know that you have guidance that is offered to you in every emotional moment of every emotional day do you feel more loved than you did do you feel more heard than you did before can you feel that you've shifted just a little bit do you feel more clear about who you are do you have a more of an understanding about how this all works if that's the case then this has been a very what we want to call successful gathering an opportunity for all of us by successful we always mean more satisfaction if reaching for satisfaction will be your mantra for a while 
what's the most satisfying thought I can think what's the most satisfying thing I could say where's the most satisfying place I could sit what's the most satisfying thing I could do if you will in a sort of selfish in an exactly selfish nature if you will consider what would be most satisfying to you you will lead yourself right into consistent and steady alignment so much so that even when a problem presents itself you won't lose your alignment you'll be able to evaluate the situation or the problem from a place of enlightened alignment that's how your inner being does it you can do it too we said to someone a few gatherings ago don't worry about us we will wedge our message in the crack because we really know what it is you're reaching for and then we said and also don't worry about us because we've got you outnumbered the well-being of your life is so much more than the pinched off version of it that some have managed to accomplish and so the thing that we appreciate most about your willingness to come to a room like this to a gathering like this to play with us is that in the process of the conversation the words are helpful to some extent but in the process of your sitting in the vibrational resonance of your own inner being you are in a different vibrational place than you have been which means life is going to be somewhat different for you than it was being there's been a slight and in some cases a significant energy adjustment that you have allowed that's always in the offering but that you have allowed and so our encouragement is that you just be aware of things that are a little bit different of what you take to the table now that we've been here together because what you're taking to the table now is more love so people have been a little defensive with you won't be as defensive because they won't feel as much reason to be defensive with you those who haven't been listening to you as well they'll respond differently to you because there's something that's changed about you that they cannot consciously identify they won't be able to tell you what's different because it's a vibrational basis that is different but we're asking you to notice it because the noticing of that is some of the same benefit that we are asking you to notice as a result of your meditation we expect that more of you will find that 15 or 20 minutes every morning morning's best and we know for sure that when you quiet your mind by focusing on something not interesting like a hum in a room that you will leave your resistant thoughts and your beliefs that are contradicting what you want aside for a moment and that your vibration will find resonance with what your inner being knows about that subject and because your inner being has been walking in your moccasins every step along the way your inner being really already has a lot of momentum going about the things that you care about about the solution part of your problems about the answer part of your questions so in the same way that you're going to notice some differences today and tomorrow and the next day as a result of resonating in this energy for a little while meditation is going to do that for you too meditation that you accomplish will accomplish more vibrationally than we accomplished in these three hours and we got a lot done vibrationally here today so what we're really asking is that you notice it that's all because words don't teach just notice the results of the energy alignment just notice the results of it and as you take notice of it then when you sit to meditate you'll be that much closer to letting in the well-being that is being offered to you we do not want you to sit in meditation all day every day we're not asking you to quiet your mind your mind doesn't want to be quieted that's why it takes a little bit of doing to focus and to get your mind to quiet law of attraction is keeping your mind active on the things that it's already been active about and so the shifting of beliefs is a sort of slow process even at its best but even in the slow process that it is as you notice the results of it then you're going to be more likely to do it and friends it is a consistency of meditation it's the willingness to get to that place where you receive those thoughts from source energy that really is the answer to everything that you're looking for we have adored this conversation today we've taken thought together beyond that which has been before we are eager for Esther to get her ears on it because she's going to highlight at least five things that we've never said before that as a result of who you are you brought into the newness of this leading edge time and space and for that there are not enough words to express the appreciation that we feel for you
we want you to remember just a few things life is supposed to feel good to you life is supposed to be fun you are supposed to feel good along this way and it is our expectation that you're on the way to that there is great love